Tell me about the science. Tell me about also the, 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 the way in which it's cost effective to be able to do that short term and then into the long term. Look, short term, the costs are significantly higher because I have already a fully depreciated asset that I'll have to shut down and invest in a new asset, which is a hydrolyzer, to make hydrogen. So that's a new capital investment. The second challenge is obviously it has to be fired with renewable energy, so wind and solar. So that's the other piece of the puzzle that I have to then uh, you know, find a way to, uh, to resolve. And then in the end, the cost of green hydrogen is significantly higher than what I make traditionally today, which is called grey hydrogen. Now, we need a mechanism to bridge this, uh, this gap so that this green hydrogen is cost competitive so that it can be consumed by Orica and by Orica's customers. And that is why this new hydrogen fund, where the government has offered $2 billion to support the industry, is very critical. So Orica has already made an application of interest, and as soon as we get some clarity, I'm ready to go with my investment decision. Oh, that's interesting because there's also some who make the argument that maybe the investment is best made in the United States where they have the Inflation Reduction Act where there's hundreds of billions of dollars of support available for companies that have the technology and indeed that's now been opened up to Australian companies. Absolutely. Look, we are competing here in Australia with nearly 270 billion US dollars that goes into the IRA in the US. So now that's a, that's a, that's a big competitor there. But I think there are very few places in the world where you can make green hydrogen in a cost competitive environment. Australia, luckily, is one of them. We have enough wind, we have enough solar energy, and we do not have and we have land. So it is possible for us to be cost competitive, but that's going to happen over a period of time as the technology matures. Initially, we need support like the IRA in the US, and I think the $2 billion fund is a good starting point for us. But the fact of the matter is that if you do get that support from government, your investment decision is made much easier to produce green hydrogen here in Australia. Absolutely. Much easier, much sooner, because I'd like to start producing as soon as possible. Because as you can imagine, I'm the biggest consumer of hydrogen in my own network. So for me, it's a matter of producing cost-competitive green hydrogen, putting it into my factories and making green ammonia out of it. I'll tell you what, Sanjeev Gandhi, great to chat to you. We'll do it again shortly. Many thanks for your time today.